guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel McNally Money, home of all things stock, investment, and personal finance related. Now for today's video, super exciting one for you. I've been awaiting this day. HUD 8 just announced Q4 and fiscal 2021 results, which we're gonna talk about in today's update. We're also gonna go into their investor presentation, talk about some of the reasons why I'm so excited about crypto miners, specifically HUD 8 moving into 2022, and really lay out my bullish thesis for this company for you guys watching this video. Now, before we get into it, please take a second, hit the like button, you guys. It's a huge help to myself and the channel. If you're not already subscribed, McNally Money, feel free to do so. And let me know in the comment section below what you thought of HUD 8's numbers, if you're currently holding shares, and how you think they stack up to some of the other crypto miners we've covered on the channel previously. Now, with that being said, let's get into today's video. Okay guys, so that's right, today's video we're going to be covering HUD8 Mining Corporation, specifically their Q4 and Fiscal 21 year-end results, then we're going to take a look at their updated investor presentation, talk about some of the big recent developments at this company, and why I'm so bullish on HUD8 Mining moving forward into the back half of 2022. Now you can see a big day for HUD8 on Wednesday, this is as of the 16th of March, they were up 47 cents per share or about 7.65%, just about 8% per share to close out at $6.61 Canadian. This is the Canadian listing here. You can see they trade under the ticker symbol HUT on the Toronto exchange and they also trade on the NASDAQ under the same ticker symbol HUT. So in some of my previous videos, I've talked about my call option strategy and I'm actually trading those options on the NASDAQ listing of HUD8 Mining. Now you can see over the last couple of months, HUD8 has pulled back dramatically. This was a company that was trading above $20 Canadian back in November. It's pulled back, it's cut its share price virtually to a third of that and that's why I'm aggressively adding shares and options right now in multiple different portfolios. And based on this recent share price pullback, you can see a market cap on HUD 8 in the range of about 1.1 to 1.2 billion dollars Canadian. So keep that number in mind as we move into the fiscal results here, because it really is quite astonishing. Now, before we get into those results, I did want to quickly bring up iTrust Capital. So this is a crypto or Bitcoin focused video. Obviously, iTrust Capital, we've covered this company on the past on the channel. This is a crypto related company that actually allows you to hold cryptocurrency or different coins within your IRA account. So for those of you located here in Canada, IRAs are very similar to a TFSA or an RSP. They're a tax sheltered account that actually helps people save for retirement. So if you're located in the United States, I would definitely recommend you go in and you take a look at the iTrust Capital platform, a really user friendly platform, very competitive pricing, and they've got access to multiple different cryptocurrencies that you may want to hold within your tax sheltered account. So you can see ranging from Cardano, to Algo, they've also got Bitcoin Cash, Dogecoin, Stellar, Ethereum, Bitcoin, Avalanche, and even some of the new more metaverse focused cryptocurrencies like Mana and Axie Infinity. So I definitely recommend, again, if you're based in the United States, go in and take a look. I'll leave a link in the video description below to the iTrust Capital platform, but definitely a great way to hold cryptocurrency and really ensure that if and when these cryptos take off in a huge way, you're not gonna end up paying a large portion of that investment to the tax man when you ultimately need to cash these out of your account. So with that being said, now we're gonna jump into the HUD-8 operating and financial results for 2021. You can see this came out at 4.30 a.m., so up super early today, you guys. Achieves record-breaking annualized revenues of $174 million. So keep in mind, you guys, market cap on this one is 1.1 billion. So very impressive revenue or top line numbers from HUD-8 Mining, considering this is a company that's growing exponentially and they're continuing to bring on more computing power and actually increase their overall hash rate. Now, in addition to that impressive revenue, they've actually increased their Bitcoin holdings or their reserve by 100%. So they're now sitting on 5,518 Bitcoin. So as of the time I'm recording this video, Bitcoin is currently trading right around $52,000 Canadian. So if you multiply that out, 52,000 times 5,518, 
you're actually getting a reserve value of $287 million. So nearly a third of this company's market cap or a quarter of their market cap is actually sitting in cryptocurrency or Bitcoin itself. Plus they're generating an additional $175 million of revenue in last year alone. And with that being said, adjusted EBITDA increased to $96.6 million in 2021. So this is why I'm so excited about this company and I'm aggressively adding this is now my biggest position by far in my accounts combined because I truly believe in the long-term potential of cryptocurrencies, blockchain and Bitcoin specifically, which we've talked about on the channel. We just saw the Ukraine actually legalize cryptocurrencies within the last 24 hours. So I think the world is definitely waking up to how valuable this type of asset is, especially in light of inflation and seeing stock markets and currencies or fiat currencies around the world virtually collapse over the last couple of months. So I'm bullish on Bitcoin and I think HUD8 mining is the best miner in this space for a number of reasons that we're gonna talk about next up in the presentation. Now you can see the CEO, Jamie Leverton. So this is one of the reasons I'm so excited about this company. She's an awesome leader, you guys. If you haven't watched any of her interviews, definitely go in and take a look. But she goes on to say, 2021 was a truly transformational year at HUD8, complemented by considerable growth. So keep in mind, this is still a high growth company. In pursuing a diversified strategy, we have differentiated ourselves from our peer group and in doing so have become the only company in North America to both mine digital assets while building out our traditional infrastructure business to support companies in Web 3.0 and the metaverse. So they actually just picked up a data center business with five different data centers here in Canada, all powered by renewable energy. So I think this is a great strategy to diversify revenue. They've already got over 400 clients at these data centers, and it really de-risks the business if we do see a prolonged pullback in the price of Bitcoin, which we're currently witnessing. So the nice thing here, you guys, is they can use revenue from these other business units. They also offer micro BT repair services, so they can use revenue here to keep the lights on. And what that allows them to do is actually put all of the Bitcoin that they're mining into that reserve and hold on to it to actually see the price of Bitcoin return or climb, making that reserve and in turn the company even more valuable. Achieving sizable improvement across key financial and operating metrics in fiscal 2021. This is now the CFO Shane Downey talking. We continue to have one of the largest self-mined Bitcoin reserves in the world, currently holding more than 6,200 Bitcoin. So they've actually increased that by about 700 since the end of fiscal 2021 and look forward to driving operating efficiencies at our mining sites by deploying next generation miners. Now moving along here into the 2021 highlights, again, you can see record breaking revenue just shy of $174 million, 165.4 of which actually came from the self mining operations and hosting services. So again, a great example of the multiple different revenue streams here generated about 8.4 million. So they mined 2,800 Bitcoin in 2021 or just shy of that. And I expect that number to improve dramatically into 2022. They were also the first Canadian digital asset miner or crypto miner to be listed on the NASDAQ exchange. So again, that's what enables me to actually trade those call options that I talked about in my previous videos. Another major first for the company, December 3rd of 2021. They were actually the first company in this industry to be added to the S&P TSX index. So that's obviously great to grab investor attention and for liquidity in the stock. Then in terms of their actual equipment or hardware, they purchased just about 32,000 micro BT miners during the year. They've actually received about two thirds of these and they're expecting the additional 10,000 miners throughout 2022. So that's gonna further improve this company's hash rate and their actual computing potential or the ability to mine and harvest Bitcoin. And then the final point here is actually again from late December, they entered into a $38.3 million or $30 million US senior financing term with Trinity Capital. So this is a great way again to get some cash and working capital on the books without actually having to dilute shareholders or issue additional common shares. So that was great to see. And that's again gonna go towards building out their North Bay, Ontario site, which we're gonna talk about in a couple of minutes here. Now, two other things I quickly wanted to mention. Number one is a hash rate update. So this is the actual computing power. As of December 31st, HUD8 had installed hash rate of approximately 2.0 hexahash. We've now seen that increase to 2.5 exahash, so a 25% increase as of February 28th. And they're looking to actually build up that computing power to 3.55 exahash, 
once all of the additional miners are received and deployed. So you can see the growth that we're talking about and obviously that's gonna to lead to more Bitcoin in 2022. And that's a great segue to down here where it talks about the year over year revenue growth. So again, 174 million compared to only 41 million in the prior year. So that's 327% growth year over year. And I expect 2022 to be even better with the additional computing power, the new business units coming online, and hopefully the rebound in the price of Bitcoin itself. So overall here, you guys, phenomenal numbers from HUD8 Mining, really exactly what I expected. And the nice thing about these mining companies is they actually release a monthly update after each and every month is completed. So you really get a good understanding for how many Bitcoin they've mined, the amount of revenue you can expect on these quarterly reports and their overall performance in relatively real time intervals compared to other companies and other industries where you have to wait for an entire quarter to go by to really get a feel for how the business is doing. So with that being said, now we're going to shift gears, jump into the updated investor presentation. So again, for those of you who aren't super familiar with HUD-8, they're fueling the digital ecosystem. HUD-8 is leading the digital finance revolution by advancing decentralized systems with digital asset mining and high performance computing. And more on that to come next. So in terms of their operations, this is what gets me really excited here, you guys. HUD-8 now has eight facilities, so three mining operations and five data centers spread across Canada that harness the power of Canada's diverse energy sources from British Columbia to Alberta to Ontario. We are taking an innovative approach to our high performance data centers, which run on hydro and nuclear power. So again, renewable energy there, you guys, to bridge between traditional and nascent high performance computing infrastructure and capture growth in blockchain, AI and Web 3.0. Our digital asset mining centers mine efficiently using an abundance of renewable energy. We have industry leading power purchase agreements and operate in climates with cold temperatures and high winds, which are optimal for mining. And if you actually scroll down here, you can see where the different operations are set up. So in light blue or aqua are the actual mining centers, two in Alberta, one in North Bay, Ontario. And then the data centers are represented in purple, three of them here in British Columbia and two of them in Ontario. So all located in Canada, again, taking advantage of that cold Canadian climate to really help or minimize costs at these facilities and keep the machines running in an optimal state. So if we now jump into the actual investor presentation, I'm gonna break down the various different business units here because this is really, in my opinion, what differentiates this company from some of the other miners we've talked about on the channel and gives them that recurring revenue to keep the lights on while the price of Bitcoin is low so they can actually transfer all of their mining activity into their reserve or hold it in custody with that hold on for dear life strategy that they've talked about so many times in these presentations. So first up is their actual digital asset mining business. This is the bread and butter of HUD-8, obviously. The mining sites, Medicine Hat, Alberta, Drumheller, Alberta, and North Bay, Ontario is the new one. Currently about 2.5 exahash in production. And another thing I wanted to call out here, you guys, that's super unique, is they actually generate about 16% of their Bitcoin production, or at least in the month of January, by mining Ethereum and then immediately converting that to Bitcoin. And the nice thing about this is mining Ethereum is a lot less energy intensive, it's cheaper, and that actually gets them a price per Bitcoin of $2,600 Canadian. So compared to any other company we've covered, this is by far the lowest input cost. And again, they're able to do that by mining Ethereum. A lot of people have actually commented and asked, well, what happens when Bitcoin runs out? That's not expected to happen until the year 2140. So I'm not too concerned about that. But if and when that does happen or the economics are not there or viable to mine Bitcoin, these companies can pivot very easily to mining other cryptocurrencies, in this case, Ethereum, to actually generate revenue for the overall company. And you can actually see within this digital asset mining component or silo of the company, there's three different opportunities here. So the self mining operations themselves, white label hosting, and then you'll see the third one here is yield and revenue on their Bitcoin reserves. So they actually lend out 2000 Bitcoin of their total reserve of just over 5,800 Bitcoin, and they actually earn interest or yield on that portion that they've loaned out. Now, next up is their repair component or division of the company. Again, very unique in this industry and one of the only authorized micro BT repair shops here in North America. 
So this does a number of things for HUD-8 mining. It generates revenue by actually repairing these units for other companies. It allows them to repair their own machines on site to really reduce downtime. And it gets them much closer to the supply chain because they're constantly ordering parts and interacting with companies that provide these replacement parts. So this is super exciting as well. And again, a great way that HUD-8 mining has differentiated itself from some of the other miners here in North America. And last but not least, the third division of HUD-8, this is the new data center business. So they just acquired this component of the company fairly recently here, you guys. Again, five multi-tier data centers, over 400 commercial customers already on the books. The verticals of these customers range from gaming to media and entertainment, all the way to government. So diversified in terms of their clientele. They also gained access or were able to retain over 30 experienced data center professionals with enterprise grade data center experience. Again, these are located in Kelowna, Vancouver, Mississauga, and Vaughan, Ontario. And combined, they represent about 36,000 square feet of geodiverse data center space. And I should mention the trailing 12 month revenue for Terrago, which is the company they purchased, was approximately $19 million Canadian in 2021. So this is a great add to the overall top line revenue of HUD-8 Mining. And again, really something you don't find with a lot of the competitors. The other nice thing about these data centers is you can actually see they're gonna repurpose about 40% of the overall capacity, which is currently white space, into GPU digital asset mining. So this is gonna help bolster their overall mining portfolio by using some of that idle capacity at these data centers. Now, the other thing I wanted to quickly throw in here, we've talked a lot about the CEO, Jamie Leverton, but I actually watched a few interviews recently from Sue Ennis, and I would highly recommend you guys go in and take a look. Very well spoken and really paints a great picture for the direction HUD-8 Mining is trying to take this business over the next couple of years. Was really impressed with her understanding of this business and industry, and again, really demonstrates how this leadership team is trying to differentiate HUD-8 Mining from other crypto mining businesses. And they talk a lot about Jamie Leverton's historical experience in the data center or traditional data center space and how this allows HUD-8 Mining to identify opportunities like the acquisition of Terrago that we just discussed. Now with that being said, I wanted to end out the video by jumping into Simply Wall Street. There's a link in the video description below. If you guys don't currently use this platform, it's a great place to get information and research companies that you're looking to invest in. Under the actual future growth tab here, you guys, I wanted to point out a couple things. So five out of six analyst checks actually meet the grade for HUD-8 mining. They're expecting 128% annual earnings growth. And if we go down into the charts here, you can see 2021 revenue came in just shy of $180 million, which we saw in those Q4 and fiscal 2021 results we just discussed. But what's super exciting, as you move out to 2022, analysts are expecting over $400 million in top line revenue. And by 2023 here, you guys, expecting $632 million Canadian in revenue. So this really gives you a feel for the growth potential at HUD-8 Mining. Again, this is highly correlated or dependent on the price of Bitcoin, which I personally think is gonna be extremely favorable for these type of companies that have large Bitcoin reserves. And again, keep in mind, market cap on this company is just north of $1.1 billion, with 300 million of that actually sitting in Bitcoin. So when you start to see revenue numbers like this in excess of $600 million per year, the investment starts to make a lot of sense and that's exactly why I'm looking at those longer expiration or longer term call options that expire in 2024. So with that being said, a ton of things to be excited about with this company and phenomenal Q4 and year end results. So a huge congrats to the leadership team. Now with that being said, you guys, I wanted to end the video here with a couple things that in my opinion, really helped this company stand out. So they're a market pioneer, again, first to trade on the NASDAQ, first to be included in the S&P TSX index. They've got multiple different revenue streams, industry leading in the digital asset mining and enterprise data center industries. They've got a diversified business model, which in my opinion, de-risks the company and adds stability, a very experienced management team, which we briefly touched on in today's presentation, and best in class mining operations with a huge reserve of Bitcoin, which they're continually adding to month after month. So for those reasons, this is my number one pick in the Bitcoin or crypto mining space. I absolutely love HUD-8 mining. I'm continuing to add. I'd be curious to hear your guys' thoughts in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about HUD-8's numbers and how you think this company stacks up to some of the other miners we've covered on the channel. 
With that being said, if you're not already subscribed, McNally Money, feel free to do so. And if you're still watching the video at this point, hopefully you found some value. So make sure you hit the like button on your way out. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day.